Hello Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be doing a reading about your person and I'm going to be breaking it up into a few parts. So we'll be looking at what they're thinking, what they're feeling and what they'll do. So what's their next course of action? So I really do appreciate you popping over to the channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel to get updates for readings for your sign. Otherwise, um, We'll get straight into it and see what's coming up for fire signs. Okay, what is your person? First of all, what are they thinking? What is this person currently thinking? Okay, the tower with the queen of pentacles. What are they feeling? The justice with the eight of pentacles. And what will they do? Okay, queen of swords uh, with the strength card. Okay. So in terms, uh, let's let's kick off the reading with what they're thinking. Okay, so we've got the Tower card with the Queen of Pentacles. I get the vibe that they're thinking some self-sabotaging thoughts. Now, the Tower card is a little bit unpredictable, and there's something that may have recently happened in this connection that this person feels like either you're um, unpredictable, maybe you're a liability, or maybe it's their own unpredictability that sort of they keep focusing on, they keep thinking about. I feel like with the... Um, with the tower card, I get the vibe that something's bothering them, okay? Something's bothering them and it's about your connection or it's about something with the Queen of Pentacles tells me it's about either maybe money, okay? Finance issues. There could be some jealousy or competition. It could be about settling down together or the long-term future. There's either, um, uh, they keep thinking that there's unpredictability in this sense. Um, the tower card can be like wrath or promiscuity as well. So I, I get the vibe that maybe there's someone here who feels like, Maybe you're too open-minded. Maybe they're too open-minded. Um, it's almost like there maybe could even be like a sexual history that bothers them, whether it's their own, whether it's yours, but it's something that's really impacting their thoughts. And it's come up very strongly in this reading. They're trying to be calm. I get the vibe with the queen of pentacles on top that this person is trying to appear calm and trying to appear like it doesn't bother them, but it does because it keeps telling me that they keep having these consistent thoughts, um, in some way, shape or form. So, um, Look, it's like a self-sabotaging or a devastating thing. Um, and I feel like they keep potentially blowing things out of proportion here, okay? And they keep thinking. So their mind is like hypersensitive right now. So any sort of um, stimulus, any sort of conversation, anything that happens between the both of you, they're sort of making it explosive or especially in their mind. Now on the exterior, they could be much calmer than they are. But internally, I feel like they've got a lot more than going on that they than they lead on. Let's shift over to the next column. We've got the Justice card with the Eight of Pentacles in terms of how they're feeling. Okay, um, they're feeling like this relationship is balanced, okay? So they're feeling like things are starting to become more mutual and they feel like there's more hard work that's being put into the relationship. So it's a very refreshing feeling because there's someone here who feels like they see more effort is being made by you or from you towards this connection. Um, and I feel like with the Justice card, this can be, because it like represents things that are official, um, I get the vibe that they either feel like they want to be official with you or they feel they're ready to become official with you. Now, I really like that, but I also feel like someone feels they need to change, okay? They're feeling with the justice card, um, they need to do something that you've done for them before. It's almost like they feel they need to step up and do the same to you, but it's in a good light, okay? It's in a way of them trying to meet you halfway, there's even a message here that there could be someone feeling like they're in a very compromising energy. They feel like they, they want to sacrifice things for you because you've done that for them. With the Eight of Pentacles on top, I feel like the Eight is a powerful number. Um, and I feel like it's come, it's come up a couple times next to this person. So I get the vibe that they feel they are feeling very abundant with you. Um, and I feel like with the with the stonemason here making his mark on the eight of pentacles he's making um some sort of lasting impression or engraving so i feel like i get the vibe that this person feels like they want to make an impression on you or they're working very hard to make a very good impression on you so they are reflected in a very positive light so um but i feel overall they 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 have a sense of hope here that oh, you know, I'm making the right impression on this person. I'm leaving an impact on them. Something that I'm saying or something that I'm doing is, is getting to them, but it's in a good way. It's not in a malicious way. Um, I think overall it is in a good way. 
And Libra is a number of partnerships. Uh, Libra is a sign of partnerships. It's counterparts. It's balancing acts. So there's someone here who's feeling like you are their other half, that you help balance them out. And it could even be on a subconscious level. But I get the vibe that they feel like you aren't meant for them or they feel like you're such a good match. You know, there's a real counterpart between the both of you, a real bonding, so to speak. And that's drawing them in uh, closer and closer, um, especially towards their emotions. And what I get, I, I get the sense that this person is trying to like get in touch with their emotions. They're genuinely trying. This is a solid effort that's being made, people. So look, let's let's acknowledge that for a second, okay? Let's not dismiss them right away because some of you have seen some action. You've seen some changes in behavior. You've seen these in the physical. This is all about the physical realm. So the feelings, I think, they're being very open um, and they're displaying these feelings with no hesitation. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Okay, in terms of what they'll do, Queen of Swords says they want to talk, okay? There's someone here who wants to send a message, who wants to talk to you, who wants to call you, who wants to sit down and discuss some big topics here. The Queen of Swords is here, so it's almost like this person is ready to speak. Um, they're ready to make some sort of initiative. They're ready to make contact. They want to sit down and have a conversation with you. The bird flies upwards. This is positive communication, positive reinforcement. They have something they want to communicate to you, but it's in a positive light, which is fantastic. The fact that you've got the strength card in that column um, two shows um, they're willing to swallow their pride. They're willing to put their ego to the side and they're willing to talk about the heavy stuff here. Okay, the stuff that's going to potentially make the both of you stronger. Strength can also be territory and possessiveness. So there's someone here who may either say something out of jealousy or out of possessiveness, maybe, or they may do something that shows that they're very protective. Okay, this is all about the doing. Yes, they might say something, but in terms of their action with the strength card, I get the sense that they're going to do something to show you that they want you to call them yours. Um, they want to call you theirs. It's a real, it's a protective energy. And again, I feel like with the strength card, it's going to make your bond stronger. This act is going to maybe solidify something for you, maybe more so for the Leos watching. Um, regardless, the strength card is a powerful act. Okay, the strength card is a is 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 a brave act. So they're going to do something very brave, something that they wouldn't normally do, something that may require a lot of courage. Again, like I said, they've got to swallow the pride, they've got to put the ego aside, and that takes courage. That takes bravery. And to see that come up in the reading, I think you're going to be very surprised by their acts um, and what it is that they have to say. But there is someone who wants to keep communication open or there's someone who does or will want to get back in touch because they're ready to talk. They're ready to break down those barriers and they're ready to sort of discuss what it is that they need to discuss, especially if you've put it to the side for so long. I'm getting the fact that that's coming up here. The Queen of Swords is like they're ready to talk. They want to talk here. Um I really feel like they're going to lay it lay it down on the table. This is how it is. This is how they're feeling. Um, but whatever their talk, they're going to back it up. I feel like it's not just talk. It's not just hot air. They're going to back up their actions. And I feel you're going to really appreciate that. You're going to be a little bit taken aback and go, wow, okay, this person, they've walked, uh, they've talked the talk and now they're walking the walk. So I get the vibe that you're going to be pretty impressed with what it is that they're going to do here for you um, around that current energy. Uh, really interesting reading though, Fire Signs. I hope you have enjoyed it, of course, and it can be for you if you are an Aries, Sag or Leo. Um, otherwise, I hope you have uh, a great a week ahead and hopefully we shall be in touch very, very soon. So take care and bye for now.